know not what they do. This is a, a podcast, especially from a lot of you cats. I've been seeing some trends on how y'all been writing some of your, your, your posts, your replies to whatever I'm talking about. And it always seems to come back to family. And how your family didn't support you and how, you know what I'm saying, your mom is this and your aunt is this and your uncle don't do this and he, he over here and he wasting time and nobody ever taught me how to hustle, isn't it? And blaming your family for all the, the things you don't know. You smart enough to do them or go take your ass out and do them. Stop looking at everybody else saying, uh, don't you wish, I wish I had a mother like you. I wish I had somebody to support me. Nobody didn't do that. Well, damn it, man. That's just the way life is, man. Like I told you, man, you really talking to the wrong cat. You really listening to the wrong cat, man. I don't got no sympathy. I was out there on them streets by myself at 17, 18, 19, all the way through my 20s trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? And I slept in some places and been around. But I had prostitutes above my uh, apartment when I was coming up, when I was starting this business, homie. So I don't, I don't expect everybody to understand what it's like to live under a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect uh, my mother or my sister or my brothers my cousins to really understand what the hell I'm doing. So when they come out and say something against what I'm doing, I, I they know not what they do. They know not what I do, homie. You know what I'm saying? They don't. I've never seen anybody in my family. I got some family, some friends, some cousins and everybody who really doing real good. And you know what I'm saying? Got businesses of their own. Um, but they didn't advise me and I didn't know of them when I was coming up. So how can I expect people who never ran a business to understand what I'm doing when I run a business or how stressful I'll be or how tough it is to be uh, someplace all by yourself where there's no family when the rest of my family barely left where they were from? Y'all cats got to fall back from this kind of thinking. Y'all, especially y'all, y'all really piss me off because uh, you want to you wanna blame other people. Homie, be a man about it. Be a woman about it and take care of your business whatever you don't have you haven't had it for a long time homie how did they did they stop you from eating the orange today did they stop you from going to class see it's a lot of people in this life man they get hung up on what their family didn't do for them they think somebody should have escorted them and held their hand through this life and and told them what's better like they would have you know like somebody like they actually knew what was best for you you know what I'm saying? But you don't have it. And neither did I in some of my parts of my life, homie. But I don't sit here and cry. Nor do I get on or, or walk around telling other people about my family in a derogatory way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't call anybody in my family a punk or a wimp or, 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 or tell any, you know, talk about my, my family, my grandparents or my cousins in any derogatory way. Because I understand what my family is supposed to be for me. Y'all don't understand that yet. Y'all have some weird old feeling like they're supposed to uh, push you forward or they're supposed to elevate you and encourage you. Man, what the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? You think you a preacher in the pulpit and everybody's supposed to clap at you when you talk about Jesus, homie. That's not what we do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't walk around and, and put down my family. I know, like I said, I know what my family's here to do for me. And that is when I come home, I get to be regular old Freeman. You know what I'm saying? I have done no wrong by them. They love me unconditionally. And that's all I expect. Y'all expect some kind of adoration, homie, like you are the, the, the son of God. Homie, you aren't. And what you're starting your business, nobody don't believe in it but you. But you want somebody to say good job. You got to grow up out of this teenage syndrome that you in, this third grade syndrome that got you in here thinking that everybody should congratulate you or people should look up to you or they should respect you or all this stuff because you know what, you're the one. You're not the one, Neo. Everybody in your family, homie, is trying to eat and survive just like you. You know what I'm saying? You should learn how to be what I try to be to my family and that is I give them some extra insight. This is what I'm doing. Check this out. You could do this too. Similar to the way I put on the rise and grind on a daily basis to make sure you cats know about different things. Get your mind percolating, homie. Get them synapses firing. But I don't go around putting down my anybody in my family. Because I know they don't know what I'm doing. And the average person on the street don't know what the hell I'm doing. So even when you have somebody who would criticize me or say something against me, he don't know what the hell I had to come through to get this stuff. He don't know what I'm doing today. He don't know what I'm doing at this second as I tape this podcast for you, homie. So why would I listen to these people? 
what I'm really trying to tell you, homie, is that you got to grow up a little bit. You got to you got to stop blaming everybody, your family for for what they didn't do or how they didn't hold you back or how they might embarrass you because they not what you think they should be. They are what they think they should be with the information that they got and the knowledge they have. And if you want them to be better, then you take your ass back over there and you teach them how to be better. You go and grab one of your nieces and nephews who who young in the game and you you school them to this life so they won't repeat what your cousin did. You you take it on as a man that you go out here and you teach people what this life is about. If you're not gonna do any of that, homie, why don't you just shut up? Fall back and stop being disrespectful. Oh, third generation, you know what I'm saying, comfortableness. You over here complaining about that nobody didn't help you when you wanted to sell cupcakes, homie. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else trying to survive, you over here complaining. The reason why I jump on you about this stuff because it, it diminishes you when you walk out into this life as a man that everything that comes out of your mouth is something of what your family didn't do for you. There are plenty of suckers sitting around crying and complaining saying that what they are today is a result of what their parents didn't provide for them. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have a big will. And because I didn't have a big will of seven, man, that just messed me up. That scarred me for life, man. That tricycle I didn't get. You know, that easy bake oven I didn't get. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really, you know, uh, gave me a hug. You know what I'm saying? And I was out here by myself and I couldn't read well and nobody didn't catch it. Well, now you can read. Now you have enough money to buy the tricycle, the bicycle, the, the big wheel. Go and take a big dumb ass and buy them right now so you can stop crying. But when you come into this business game, this chip game, this money thing that we talking about, homie, you can't just be sitting here making up them damn stories getting mad that people don't understand what the hell you do homie if they did understand what the hell you do you wouldn't be in business would they the reason why people pay for a plumber is because not everybody knows what a damn plumber does that's why he gets paid the reason why people pay a lawyer is because not everybody can go argue in front of a judge right so why do you expect people to know what you do why do you put that burden on your family like they should understand how hard it is for you to start a damn business you don't get that to everybody else so your sap ass walk out here every day and you go find some woman or some man depending on what gender you like you know what i'm saying and you try to say my friends are better than my family your friend you think your friends are there for you they won't be there for you in the end homie because there's no blood relationship to it you know what I'm saying? When you fall, homie, they're going to feel sorry for you, but they're not going to take that weight. If I fall, I know my brothers, my sisters, my cousins, everybody going to take my weight. And thus, I owe them a loyalty and a, and a respect in the streets, even when they're not around, that I make sure people know there is no division in the Freeman clan, homie. These are my brothers. These are my sisters. This is my family. They might not understand what I'm trying to do. Because none of them have built an empire. None of them have taken these chances. But I sure as hell will never shit on them in front of anybody else. You gotta back up a little bit, young homie. You gotta stop talking. Be a man for once in your life. You young cats out here talking about what your mom didn't do and how she didn't do this and nobody didn't do this. Nobody believed in you. And man, stop being a punk. What are you gonna do for yourself? Unless your mom is actually sitting here pulling on your, your, your belt loop as you walk out the door and tackling you so you can't go out and make this money, what the hell are they stopping you from doing? Because somebody don't believe in you, they didn't tell you that they love you this morning, that you've been feeling bad. Grow up, homie. There's plenty of us out here running these streets who didn't have much more than you. You got way more. You complaining. And then you want to tell everybody, oh, you know, uh, it's, it's my, I don't know why they never taught me it. The reason why they never taught you it, homie, is because they don't know it. Damn it, nobody out here trying to trip you up. You think your mom want to trip you up, homie? You think she want to make sure you a loser? That's a little kid thinking. You ever see when you have, if y'all don't have children, if y'all don't have little nieces and nephews, y'all don't have family, kids, and friends. Y'all ever see when, when a little kid will blame them? Nobody, they never, she never really supported me. And then if you're a grown-up, you sit back and say, damn, man. Your, your mom or your dad is running around here crazy trying to make sure you, you eating right. That's because you don't see the big enough picture to know what a, a, a parent or an adult or a man or a woman provides to a child. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the sacrifices people have taken for you to be who you are right now. Even in your sorry ass state, homie. People have been trying to, your mom could have let your punk ass die and not even fed you, homie. You owe a debt to these people. 
You know what I'm saying? For you to stop walking around here telling everybody that your mom and them and you didn't have this and you didn't have that. And even if you didn't have that, homie, what the hell we care? Grow up, shut up, and do what you got to do to get this money. Grow up, shut up, and do what you got to do to build your empire. Grow up, shut up, and, and get on the right road, homie, and stop walking around telling everybody what you didn't have. Because right now, I stand across and I read these comments from grown men who are sitting there telling me what somebody else didn't do. Well, aren't you a man, homie? Didn't your nuts drop? Can you pick up a box and move the move your damn? Can you move yourself? You make a million excuses as to why you're not there, and you want to blame your family. You know what I'm saying? This is the same thing that goes on in the black community as a whole. You know what I'm saying? There's other people in charge of of these uh, TV networks and radio stations and everything else, but we only blame black people. Nobody want to blame the white guy who actually owned the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to blame the pig farmer who keeps feeding us pork. And getting us out here having high blood pressure. Nobody want to go and attack the city or the mayor for telling people for the for the conditions you live in. But instead, you want to go blame all the gangbangers. You want to go blame all the drug dealers. Nobody want to get up and get their guns and go take down the dudes who actually bring it into the country, do you? So you want to blame the person next to you. Like a wimp, like a punk. Be a man. Be a woman for the people who are women listening to me. They don't know what the hell you doing. And it's obvious because you have left them already. You can probably make more money than them. Why are you coming back to shit on people who love you? Think about that, man, as we move forward, man. Because I get, I get fed up with it. I get really fed up with it. Because I know how hard it is for me to get to where I had to get. And if I were to have a, a son that comes around and says, you know, my dad, you know, Freeman Sr. didn't do what I thought he should have did. He could have did this and this and this for me. I'm going to smack him. I ain't even going to smack him, homie. I'm going to say that for somebody else. I'm going to chin check his ass right to the ground, homie. And I'm going to tell him, I could take all this away from you. And you'll be out here in the cold. You want to see what, what hard life is really like? I take the whole, I take the sun away from you, homie. That's how powerful I am. That's how powerful your children, your parents were to you. That you go out here telling people or your aunt or people who have been trying to help you to make you smile and make you laugh. Your cupcake ass come outside and say something. Let me put the right spin on this because I didn't really mean to come too hard on you, but it pisses me off. I don't like people who talk about their family amongst other people in a derogatory way. You know what I'm saying? What they didn't do for you as a punk. You a punk. The right way to see this is this. No one has done what you've been trying to do. No one will understand you, homie. You're going to have to find other people who went into business to understand business. You're going to have to find somebody, some, some special person who really wants you to do well. The majority of people don't understand it. They will never see it as big as you do. And it is absolutely disrespectful to your, to your whole line of your family for everybody who ever sacrificed for your dumb ass to breathe for you to be out here saying that stuff. Get over it. Your mom didn't help you get over it. Your sister didn't help get over it. Your dad wasn't there. Get over it. Your granddad didn't give you as much money as he gave somebody else. Get over it. Somebody didn't believe in you as much as they believed in the other person. Get over it. Because once you cross over 21 and once you get out of 18 being a teenager, homie, I'm expecting manhood conversations, womanhood conversations. And if you're going to sit here and tell me what somebody didn't do for you, but you're a grown man and you're supposed to be strong, why are we bringing that up? They don't know what you're doing, homie. I don't even know what the hell you're doing. If you send me one of your hustles, I might not believe in it, but I'm just going to put it on the thing and say, hey, man, you know, that look good. I, I, hey, man, I could be wrong, homie. There's a couple of businesses in this world that I don't understand how they make it, but they do. I ain't the end all and be all. So if you sit here and say, well, Freeman didn't believe in me, homie, what the hell? Are you a, are you five? I got to do that with my nephew to make sure he ain't, you know, what I say to him doesn't break his spirit because he's too young to understand. You know what I'm saying? But you're not. Why are you over here doing that? They don't know what you're doing. And they're going to make a lot of mistakes. They're going to call you some names that you might, that might actually hurt because they don't understand. When I was younger and my brother was getting out of the service or something, I called them all kind of names and I regret calling them those names to this day because it really bothered him. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know what, what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand. And I hope, you know what I'm saying, he doesn't hold it against me for the rest of my life. Something I said to him as a kid. You know what I'm saying? I, without understanding what he was really taking on and how hard his life was at that moment. I'm trying to tell you this, man, because they don't know what the hell you're doing. 
And you should know that because you don't even run into other people who know what the hell you're doing. So if the people outside, and if millions of people outside who don't know what the hell you're doing, the people in your family, why should they support you? They don't get it. The only, they can only, the only thing they can give you is that I hope you're successful because I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they're going to say it's stupid. And, and you got to accept that maybe people in your family are just as stupid as the people outside who don't understand what the hell going on either. Maybe a lot of people in your family are customers too, homie. Think about that. Fall back from the dumb stuff, man. People have been sacrificing to make sure you win. You might not understand it because you're not old enough to understand it. You haven't taken on these burdens yet. You haven't had to raise children. You haven't had to do all this stuff. And the nerve of you little cats to go around saying that stuff, man. Somebody had to tell you, I guess I got to. Fall back, homie. You are the, if you are the king of your family, be the king. And, and be benevolent and show them what, the, what could be possible. They sacrificed for you to come into being. They didn't sacrifice for you to turn around and complain and tell them what they didn't do for you. Stop being a punk. Next time, partner.